Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pasuela from Curval.com and uh, today I am going to show you how to import the data from YouTube public data API into Power BI. So this is not for the analytics that you normally see in YouTube because you need another type of authentication. This is the public data that you see on any video that anybody can access. So I'm going to show you how to get that into Power BI. Uh, let's, uh, let's start. So what kind of data are we going to be able to download? If you if we go, for example, to Microsoft Power BI YouTube channel, you will see that there is some data that is available for everybody. For example, you can see the videos, of course, but you can also see when it was published, you can see how many views, and then if you go to a specific video, you can see uh, how many likes, how many dislikes, comments, and how many have subscribed to the channel. So this is the kind of information that you will be able to download from this public API, and I am going to show you how to do that. So before we jump into Power BI, there are a few things that we need to do. The first one is understanding what we are actually going to do. Uh, what you see here is the URL that will give you the data once you put it into Power Query. And it looks more complicated than it actually is. What you see here is uh, the first part of the URL is a call to the YouTube API. In particular, for the channel, it will give you the, the statistics is the second part, the statistics of the specific channel. This ID, this is the channel ID. So if you write your channel ID or your competitor's channel ID here, you will be able to get their data. This is quite cool. And then the last thing you need is the API key. So what we are going to do now is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to generate your API key and then we will go into Power BI and we will start pulling the data. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we go to Google Developer Developers Console. I will give you a link to, to this. You click on the link and then you will uh, be right, redirected here. And what you need to do first is you need to create a project. So we will go in there and write create a project. And this is going to call, we will call it my project. Curbal, for example. Create. And once you have created the project, it is still ongoing. So here we have uh, in our project created. And what will happen is that Google will take you to where all the APIs are. And the public API is YouTube Data API. So that's the one that we are going to create a key for. So you will click on there. And then you press Enable. So once you have done that, let's go back to credentials and let's create a credential. And what we are going to create is an API key. So let's do it like that. So this is the key you need. That's it. You don't need to do anything else. So it's very, very simple steps. Okay. So now with this key, we are going to go to Power BI. And we're going to start getting some data. But before that, I'm going to show you that the URL works on the browser also. So you can test your URLs in the browser before you actually do it in Power Query if you want. Let me show you. So we are going to copy the URL that I had previously. And you see that here is where we have to write our API key. So we copy that, remove API key, paste it, and you see that it's giving us a result. 
which is exactly what we want. But now we want to have these into Power BI. So what I recommend you to do, once you have tested in the browser, copy that and then put it into Power BI. So here we have a blank Power BI file and we're going to get data from web. We're going to paste the entire thing and then we're going to click OK. It bring us to Power Query and you see that our request was successful. So we'll, to get the data we will go into list from list to table and we expand here you have a lot of things we don't need and then finally we get the stuff that we want which is in this case the number of subscribers for Kerbal channel so there was a lot of stuff that we didn't want it so I'm going to remove that and that and that because it was not helpful at all and that I um, don't want that and now that one is going to break of course because I've just changed the name and for that I don't want the comments or that I just want to subscribe account the video count and the view count and I don't want any name like that so perfect so here we have it. We have the subscribers for Kerbal. Now, um, it is quite good if you, for example, save the API key into a query parameter. So let's create that. If we go up here, I showed you in the previous video that there is an advanced um, setting. And there you can go and create a parameter that we're going to call it API key. And in there we are going to paste our key, which was that one. So, and that should substitute the last part of the query, right? So our key should be equal to the API key you, you see here in the preview. Another thing that is actually quite good to do too is to have the channel ID in its own parameter in case you want to have at least for example your channel and your competitor's channel and you can use the same report to uh, see how you and your competitors are doing if you don't want to do comparison between them of course then it won't work but we will add a new parameter and that will be the channel ID and that for now is going to be just a value but you could have other channels in there so let's get the channel ID is in there so and for that we're going to add part we have parameter api key and id channel id and then we're going to add another one that we are going to move up And we are going to remove the channel ID from there. So this is how it would look like. So ID, channel ID, key, API. Okay. So, perfect. So now we have uh, our data. Close and apply. It shows up here as it should and now you can start 
playing with your data. Here is the number of subscribers for this channel. There we have it. And here is the video count you will get also with that query. And you will also get the view count. Okay, so those are the things that you can get just on the query that I've shown you. I am going to do a video again on how to retrieve videos and the likes and dislikes and retrieve all the videos and all that stuff. But uh, I don't want to make this video too long, so today I have just stopped here. But there's another thing I want to show you. You know that there are a lot of services where they give you the live subscriber count. Well, this is what you get. This is real-time subscriber. So every time you press uh, refresh, it will refresh and it will give you the actual count. Now, something that I am always interested in to know is how much I'm growing day by day. Um, you have services like Social Blade that will actually will give you that, but it's not very accurate. And it is quite annoying to have to go there to, to pick up that data. I would rather pick it up from myself. So if you want to know uh, how much your subscriber community is growing, uh, what you can do is you can publish these to the Power BI service and set an alert. So you will be able to follow that on your mobile and on email because you will get an email too if you want to. So this is uh, quite neat. Remember, it's real time, so you will have continuous access to how your YouTube channel is growing. So uh, if you want, you can download this Power BI file from Curva.com. It, it just requires free membership. Um, so if you don't want to build it yourself, you can just go there and download it. And this is what you're going to get. I'm going to show you because I have created a Power BI template that will make it very easy for you to reuse this file. So when you download the file and open it, this is what you will find. The Power BI will ask you to enter your API key and your channel ID key. So let's do that. I have my API key in there and then I have my channel ID here. So you just enter that here you put of course your channel ID or whoever channel you are trying to to analyze and the Power BI file will um, do everything for you and this is what you will get. Again next week I will go through how to download videos and uh, likes, comments and that, that kind of stuff that is also public so in case uh, you don't know how to do it I will show you for you next week. If you want to give it a try yourself I will post a link to the API reference uh, where you have the guide samples and all kind of stuff. I am not so happy with the YouTube documentation. I, I think is confusing and uh, I don't know. I, I just never find whatever I'm looking for. Um, but I mean, perhaps uh, you understand it better. So I'll, I'll give you the URL. Feel free to, to try it out. Uh, Either way, next week I will show you how to do more with this API. Great! So this is all for today. If you liked the video, please let me know by liking it. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, uh, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe by Publish Power Air videos every week. Um, have a great evening! Bye.